Okay, last week I sat down with Blaine Higgs and we're talking, go to YouTube, write Blaine Higgs and Charles LeBlanc. You'll see many videos of me and the Premier. He's the Premier in New Brunswick. Anyway, and we talk about the issue of crystal meth and I asked him, do you truly understand the issue of drugs, the crystal meth, a point of no return? Once you try it, you see, it's, you can't afford the cocaine, you can't afford the heroin, so you go for the cheap drug, crystal meth, five, ten dollars a shot, you're high for five, six hours, your brain cells are gone forever. You're not going back, I better watch, no, no, sorry, you're not going back, there's no coming back, it's over, it's like gambling, you're in so deep, you can't get out, you must continue. Same issue of crystal meth. And even though you have rehabs, they're fried, they're fried for life. So I asked him, how do we educate our kids about the issue of crystal meth? How do we educate these kids the first thing that they know is smartphone. Smartphone, sounds good, smartphone, but are they smart enough to say no to that dangerous drug of crystal meth? Blaine Higgs said, maybe start to educate them in school. But don't forget, in 2003, when I was protesting in front of the legislator, because of those kids, and I said, teachers were acting like doctors and they were forcing these kids to take Ritalin. And I said, in 2003, we're gonna have a major, major problem in the future because we're giving the kids prescription drugs. Now, these kids are smart. Like I said, the smartphone, they know everything, electronic. But the problem is, are they smart enough to be educated on the dangerous drugs of crystal meth. Blaine Higgs mentioned, except when we grew up in school, they would say, all right, the danger of smoking. There was no such thing as drugs. Now, we must educate those kids on the danger of crystal meth because it's a point of no return. So, are they going to continue and continue to ignore the issue of crystal meth and not educate those kids in school about the danger of a point of no return? Why do I get involved in these issues? Why? 